Hello everyone, let's start with question number 5. So we are given with value 2x square plus 7 over 2x plus 3 over 4. So first of all we need to find the zeros of the following polynomial. So we will equate this polynomial to 0 first. So 7 over 2x plus 3 over 4 equals 0. Now on the left hand side what we need to do is we need to take LCM and LCM will be 4. LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. Now we need to make 4 for the first term so it will be 8x square. 4 again so we need to times it with 2 so it will be 14x. The last one as it is. Now what we need to do is we need to bring 4 to the right hand side so it will be 0 only. 0 times 4 is 0. So 8x square plus 14x plus 3 equals 0. So this is the equation what we need to solve using middle term splitting. So here we are with 8 and 3. So 8 and 3 makes 24. Now we need to split such that they make 14x. So we can write it as 12 and 2. 12 plus 2 makes 14x. So 8x square plus 12x plus 2x plus 3 equals 0. Now, in this case, what we can take common is 4x and we are left with 2x plus 3. And again in the last two terms, we are left with 2x plus 3. So, we have two terms here that is 4x plus 1 and another is 2x plus 3 equals 0. Now, from, for, from the first term, it will be x equal minus 1 over 4 and for the second term, it will be minus 3 over so these are two zeros we have that is x equals minus 1 over 4 and x equals minus 3 over 2. Now the first one is alpha and the second one is beta. Now we need to verify the answer. So for that we will, we will be finding sum of zeros. So alpha plus beta equals minus 1 over 4 minus 3 over 2. Taking LCM. We get minus 1 minus 6. So minus 1 minus 6 makes minus 7. Minus 7 over 4. Now we know that sum of zeros is minus b over a. And my equation was 8x square eight x square plus 14x plus 3. Now b is 14 and a is 8. So we will reduce this and it will be equal to minus 7 over 4. So sum of zeros has been verified here. So now what we need to do is we need to find product of zeros that is alpha dot beta. Alpha dot beta is minus 1 over 4 into minus 3 over 2. So when we product, take product of these two numbers we get plus 3 into over 8 sorry over 8 so 3 over 8 now we know the formula for same that is c over a so c in this case is 3 and a in this case is 8 so hence verified for the product as well so that's your solution for question number 5 thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel